how to use Linkpop by Shopify tools. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with using Linkpop by Shopify tools. So let's get into it. Now to get started, all you have to do is head on over to linkpop.com. But what really is Linkpop and how does it differ from Shopify? Well, Linkpop is a simple link in bio that allows you to sell products without having to set up a large website and it is simplified. It has a simple checkout process and people can, you know, people can become your customers from your followers and it is a customizable link. You can sell directly from the link in your bio. You can customize your page in minutes as well as get more views and analyze sales. Now, there are so many different ways that you can monetize with Linkpop. You also have design and selling merchandise. You can dropship products. You can even make affiliate marketing products and promote affiliate marketing products over here as well. So all in all, it's an amazing platform to get started with. And to get started, all you have to do is claim your URL and you just enter the name you want or just click on sign up for free on the top right. Once you do that, you can just continue on with your Google account or Facebook account or just your email address. And once you have chosen the account you want to use, you can just go on ahead and continue to link pop. And just like that, uh, you can, you know, get started with setting it up. So I have just used my email address and now I am going to set up my link pop. Now, there are a few things you should keep in mind. First off, the URL. So if you are an influencer, you definitely want it to be the name of your brand or you're just your own name. If this is a business, you want it to be the name of the business. If this is, uh, you know, whatever is the business name should be the name of your link pop. So for us, I'm going to name it Den because I have like, you know, a couple of sample things made with the name Den. Then you want to upload image. Now, I like to go on ahead and go into Canva. And you can just search for Instagram profile and you have these, you know, amazing little templates and you can use one of these. If you have, you know, a different kind of item that you want to promote, you can enter your own logo. So even for logos, you can just search for logo over here and then you can just use any of these logos. I actually have created a logo previously using Canva. I'm just going to search for that and I will just download that and upload it over there. And once I have added my logo, you can see this is what my logo is looking like. Then I have my profile name. It's going to be dead end. Then I have the description. So if you are an influencer, you can definitely just start with, hey, hey, check out these recommended products or check out my new headphones, check out my new merchandise, whatever it is. If you're a brand, you can start with um, buy now, a sales offer, whatever it might be. So so just like that, I've added, you know, a little bit of a tagline, then I've added some basic profile description, then I'm just going to click on create profile. So once you have created your profile, your page will be published. Now, after that, you will be able to enter your link. So you can click on add product and you can link your Shopify product. You can embed media, you can add link to content or other websites you can add affiliate products and amazon affiliate links as well these are the different links you could add other than that you have style so in terms of customizing our style you can just click on style and you can choose how you want your card shape to be then you have the link style you have your background color let's say i want it to be black so maybe i want it to be like a darker pink i think i'm going to go with a basic color like this and once you have your color you have your font you can change the font that fits the brand aesthetic that you have the best so once i have all of this now i can click on links and let's say i want to add products from my shopify store i can click on add products and i'm going to skip this and you can click on take me to my store and you can link any of your stores so let's say i have vivian i can connect that but i'm just doing this as a sample so i'm not going to link my actual store other than that, you can add link to any website. So you have these links and then it will show in the bottom. Now you can delete a link just like that and then you can title it. So this could be the best Amazon headphones and then you will enter the URL. And these could be for even recommended products as well if you're trying to get more people to 
just you know take a look at your recommendations or whatnot and you can also upload images for the product as well this is optional but just like that we have a little product added now you can click back on style over here and you can change the appearance of the blocks i want them to be rounded or square or you know slightly curved and you can change the card colors as well so you have your link color and your card color i'm going to do white text over a black background and i'm going to change the background color a little bit more because i don't like this bluish hue either it should be super dark i think this teal looks a lot better so i'm going to go with this and just like that i have my single link now once you have completed this all you have to do is click on publish on the top right and just like that your link is published you can click on over here to see what your link looks like and if i click on the link it opens up the amazon tab now you also have a lot of analytical tools available so you can click on analytics on your link pop and you can see the total link clicks the clicks per visit and the total number of visits that you get so now taking a look at the analytical tools that are provided with link pop now the best part about using link pop is that you can add products to your link pop store and not only does this help you analyze your products within your link pop but it can give you an idea of what kind of products would sell better on Shopify with their analysis tool so if i click on analytics over here i can monitor the click links the clicks per visit and the link performance so this will enable me to see which links perform the best on my actual link pop and uh, whichever links are promoting the best i can focus on re-strategizing and rebranding towards those specific products plus adding videos and embedding music can really, you know, enhance the user experience and make sure that customers leave satisfied. Plus, the fact that you have a very basic preset yet a customizable storefront is a very great thing, even if you're someone that is not used to, you know, creating these kinds of stores. And with these styles available, you have a level of customization that can still enable you know a basic and uh unanimous appearance of the website now moving on to some of the other things one thing i see a lot of people try to do is that they add their links or add their affiliate links in the link section now you want to make sure you add your affiliate product as affiliate and uh you don't want to you know uh hide that you are affiliated so you can click on get early access and this is like a new uh, item of Shopify collaborations where Shopify enables collaborations between stores and you can add what kind of content that you have. Let's say we're doing fashion and beauty content. I'm going to click on next. Then you can add what kind of product you would like to promote. And after that, you know, provide your social account and your about you. And then Shopify suggests you or link pop by shopify actually suggests you certain affiliate products that you should be promoting on your link pop that would fit well with the overall brand that you are setting up so keeping in mind these little things can really help you in increasing your sales and your commissions as well and i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to set up your own link pop by shopify store Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.